This pandemic afflicted worldwide and even the educational department struggles to continue the quality education of the students. The global education system has gone through tremendous adjustment during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are various online learning methods included in the policy and guidelines for students' online education. The educational institutions made good insight into educators' impression of online education as a learning modality for the students. Hence, the viewpoint of educators is equally crucial in students' online learning. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Paris Ala Ladesma, and together with me are Alexandra Libon, Mary Therese Magai, Stephanie Noble, and Clarissa Parker. Today, we'll be presenting to you our research study entitled Viewpoint of Nursing Educators Towards Online Learning of Nursing Students. The purpose of this study is to identify the viewpoint of nursing educators towards online learning of nursing students and to explore the nursing educators' impression of online classes. Methodology for the research design, descriptive phenomenological research inquires essentially to describe how human beings encounter a definite phenomenon. Experience may imply perception, thought, memory, interest, and emotion or understanding, and it is suggested that it explores the writings of key thinkers. For the participants of the study, eight nursing educators from the University of St. Lasalle Bacolod College of Nursing, featuring two licensed clinical instructors from each year level. Level 1 to Level 4 were the potential participants. The researchers used purposive sampling in terms of sampling technique, which means that specific situations, people, or events are explicitly chosen to offer information related to the study's questions and goals. Participants must meet the following inclusion criteria to be considered for the study. A, a nursing educator with at least five to 10 years of clinical teaching expertise in both lecture and RLE classes and at least three years of clinical experience. B, a nursing educator was moved from traditional classroom instruction to online teaching to educate practicing nursing students enrolled in BSN completion programs. C, a nursing educator who is well-educated well-informed, and has extensive clinical experience as well as outstanding communication abilities. And D, a nursing educator that is willing to share their experiences, struggles, and combats in nursing education. For the research instrument, the interview was divided into two parts. Part one include nursing educator's name, age, gender, years of teaching experience in lecture and RLE classes, your level assigned and resources used for online classes. Part two validated questions that answers to what is the viewpoint of nursing educators towards online learning of nursing students. For the data analysis, the step-by-step -step process included a detailed transcribing, organizing the data, encoding, classifying, and generating things cited by Malagan Maldonado 2014. Furthermore, trustworthiness, strategies, credibility, and transcribability of the data analysis were demonstrated in a precise and consistent manner. Positive and negative attributes of online learning through the lens of nursing educators. The nursing educators' perspective on online learning are equally critical in students' learning. If they are unsatisfied with the online technique and deem it unpleasant, it would damage the foundation of education itself. Online learning allows nursing students and educators to learn at their own pace by analyzing and identifying their learning needs. It also enables students to assess instructional materials at a time that is convenient for them. Under Theme 1, we have come up to three sub-themes, namely, for sub-theme 1A, online learning as a learning opportunity. For sub-theme 1B, online learning is inferior to face-to-face -to -face teaching. And lastly, for sub-theme 1C, limited information retention of students. For Theme 2, relatives behind the camera. Online teaching has enabled the continuation of medical education during these prodigious times. With the increasing use of technology in education, online learning has become a common teaching method. The participants of the study stated that the different barriers and limitations faced by nursing students are unstable internet connectivity, sudden power interruption, and favorable environmental factors and the lack of interaction between students and educators. Participants specified that nursing students experience disturbances during online classes and have an unfavorable environment that distracts them from learning. Under theme two, we have come up to four sub-themes, namely 
unstable internet connectivity, sudden power interruption, unfavorable environmental factors, and the lack of interaction between students and educators. Unit 3, paradigm shift in nursing education. The integration of online learning, including various digital simulations and materials necessary for the online class, were challenging for both students and the lecturers in adopting this mode of learning. Lack of learning materials and little to no digital exposure of the clinical instructors in manipulation of web-based learning systems were some of the identified factors of how the educators were able to adopt and adjust in the sudden shift of the learning system. Under the theme three, we formulated three sub themes which are the following. Sub theme 3A, transition from traditional to online platform. Sub theme 3B, strategic methods using online platform. And lastly, theme 3C, features of online paradigm as a learning experience. In conclusion, this research study was able to identify that the eight selected participants prefer a traditional learning setting rather than a web-based mode of conducting a lecture and they claim that the major subjects in the College of Nursing require a hands-on training. Furthermore, participants also claim that lack of a conducive environment for an online setup could affect the students' learning. With the features of online learning presented in the findings, face-to-face -face education is still more favorable for both parties, and it can improve students' skills and enhance their motivation to learn. For their recommendation, university administrators could utilize this study as a starting point for working with the nursing educators and to improve various methods and resources. Next, nursing educators must use different methods and strategies during the conduct of online classes, considering that the nursing students are visual learners and have a short attention span. Next, nursing students must show a positive attitude toward online learning and recognize a nursing educator's views and perceptions on the online learning platform. Lastly, Future researchers may identify the importance of this study and familiarize themselves with the previous research by gathering a collection of data from different sources. Below, you may find a QR code that will directly lead you to our references. Thank you so much for listening to the brief overview of our research study about the viewpoint of nursing educators towards online learning of nursing students. Good day to all.